fault? No, we're good. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the video. Today, uh, we got something interesting I've never kind of done. I guess you consider this like a vlog. I've never really done it ever in my life. Um, I figured why not go ahead and record my, you know, progress on my 1994 Chevy S10 single cab long bed, two wheel drive. Uh, it's got 4.3 V. V6 Ford Tech in it with the 4L6E. Keeping the 4.3, we might yank that tranny though and get rid of it. We're yanking the motor too, but we might get rid of the tranny. Go with it, go ahead and put a manual in it. Um, Cause I might do a cam, valve springs, lifters, timing chains. Might try to do port and polish heads. Maybe I've never done port and polish ever in my life, so I'd probably just send it out. Or you know, maybe leave them stock how they are. I don't know. Um, never done it. We might find out, nor have I ever put a cam in a 4.3 V6 Vortec motor ever in my life. I've never put a cam in any truck motor or car motor. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I figured I'd make this video to start off and get this area cleaned up. We're going to be sitting right here in front of the toolbox. I got you guys on the toolbox. Um, got the light right here. And if we need more light, we got, you know, we got a nice Milwaukee light that I actually bought. Just because this little storage container doesn't have much light, so uh, I can put more lights in it, but I I'm fine with what I have, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys can't really hear me, it's raining out and it's really windy out. We're getting hit with a pretty nasty storm, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get straightened up. It's not too dirty right now, but I just want to be able when we pull it tomorrow. I just want to be able to roll it in and maybe get started on it if we just get pulled in. That's a big you know, big deal because I, after work I can, you know, work on the motor if it's raining, get a list together of what I want to do, you know, cam, specs, stuff like that. This is way above my brain capacity level, I guess you would say, because I've never done anything like this in my life with a 4-3. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you guys what we're working with, and then I'll try to set you up somewhere so you can kind of watch while I'm cleaning. They said it's not too exciting, but after we clean, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the truck, more in depth plans, um, show you what I have done so far. Might record tomorrow when I pull it, maybe. Um, I got part of the intake sitting in here, so I'll show you guys that. It's just a top half. I don't have, you know, the intake still on the truck, fully on the truck. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get cleaned up. I'll probably try to do a time lapse, maybe edit a little bit. Never edit any videos in my life, so um, yeah. I'm gonna try to prop you guys up somewhere and you guys can watch me clean this little bit of mess. You guys would probably just move, you know, one or two things like a weed whacker and a jacket and be like, oh, that's good to go. But I just want to make sure I'm ready and no excuses. So, yeah, prop you guys up somewhere. Uh, I don't know if that's any good, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Easier. I got four boards right here. 
top of my toolbox has got nuts and bolts everywhere. Uh, did brakes on it, rode it, needs wheel bearings. So good thing I didn't put it all the way back together because it probably would be a little hot. And that's, it's fine being all back together, but. Here's another reason why I want to keep the 4.3 V6 is because it's got a brand new AC compressor that I bought. I had no intentions of doing any of this until I just started getting in deeper and deeper and deeper. Next thing you know, I got I got it on jacks, no fuel tank, nothing. It just kind of escalated way too quickly. Got some tools to put up and clean up. Temporary, I think we're just gonna put this guy, the rod holder, maybe a little better. Get rid of this. Sockets. Not 916. What is this guy? 
15 millimeter, and that's in one socket. Now I found it. It's a half inch. All right. Now I got a bucket of wrenches to take care of. 17 millimeter with a bunch of power steering, glue it all over it. Those were rusty as all hell, so it's better off breaking it and cutting it. You got a 19, 18. Big busco trip down North Carolina in June. Here it is, almost October, and it sat the same spot besides one time when I took it for a test drive when I did the rear brakes. They were fine, and then I noticed the wheel bearings. I felt the wheel bearings and pulled it. In, took the hub off, confirmed it, ordered them to where it's been. Well, I wear them like. A couple months after the fact. But a little bit of room. I think we can set the engine here. I don't know if you guys can see the bike. We might scoot this bike back a little bit. Can't go outside. This we can dump. Hold this. 
this up. This is for that shelf you guys are sitting on. It's not very tall, but to get to the back, it's kind of a pain. I'm pretty tall, I'm like probably about five, eleven, six foot. Once I put that wheel on, we have a lot of space in here. Put this back for now. There goes the weed whacker. Which we can bring up here for the time being. Yes. Here is part of that intake on the 4.3 Vortec. Yeah, all, all in its glory. Spider injection. Spider injection, not a fan of. I have had spider injection injection on a vehicle before it was a 96 Chevy Silverado Vortec and it had the spider injector injectors they were replaced before I got never had any problems with it though I had problems with the fuel pump uh, twice um, which the hose fell off that's because I bought a freaking stupid AutoZone kit and yeah so yeah I heard the spider injectors are not really good for making power or do they hold up the boost? Can't really put bigger injectors, I don't think, on it. So, I like I said, I'm new to this. I have to do a lot of research. If you guys have something to comment, let me know. I know part of you are, oh, it's LS swap, LS swap, and you know, do this, do that. No, no, I'm just doing the board three swap. Well, not swap, but build. Might not even build. Might just seal it up, put it back in, maybe do the bottom end too while I'm at it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm not really too good with making the videos. I'm gonna try to edit this whole thing if I did it. It's better than what it was. I'm not really worried about any of that stuff because I'm cleaning up with the full wheelers done. I got full wheelers and stuff to put back on the full wheeler. Can't really do that right now because I'm waiting on wheel bearings. I mean, I can put it back together, but I like to power wash it again. Clean everything up all nice and neat. I'm very particular about myself. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.